What's going on and welcome to the FanDuel Hurry Up. My name is Tom Vecchio. Week 14 is here and I am set to bring you three value plays for your NFL DFS lineups. Let's get to it. Starting off at the wide receiver position, $5,500 for Jameson Crowder of the New York Jets. We know that Corey Davis is now on IR. We know that Elijah Moore did not practice on Wednesday, did not practice on Thursday. Should be listed as questionable for the Jets for this game against the Saints. And we look to Jameson Crowder. He already has the third highest target share on the team and both Corey Davis Davis and Elijah Moore were ahead of him, sitting in first and second. So if we know that one of them is out with Corey Davis, and if Elijah Moore is out for this game, it would be Jameson Crowder leading the team with target share in that time. We look to the Saints, and this is a great matchup for him. The Saints are allowing 31.6 fan points per game to opposing wide receivers, which is the fifth worst in the league. So right now, we know that Jameson Crowder is going to have the second highest target share on the team. But if Moore misses this game, he's going to be elevated to first overall, not only in target share for the team, but also red zone target share. So Elijah Moore at $5,500 certainly an option you want to be considering. Sticking at the uh, wide receiver position, Jalen Guyton, $5,200 for the Los Angeles Chargers. Obviously, there's a bit of question mark when it comes to their receiving core with both Mike Williams and Keenan Allen in the league's COVID protocol. We're not sure if either of them or both of them or one of them is going to be able to play in this game, but we want to be looking to Guyton, who already had a somewhat consistent role for the Chargers, playing on 56% of the snaps this season, running around on 63% of the passing plays. I know he had a big week last week against the Bengals, but we want to be looking to him as either the primary or the secondary receiving option for the Chargers, depending on who's in or out for this game. It's obviously a great matchup going up against the Giants. They're allowing 31.1 fan points per game to opposing wide receivers. That's the ninth worst in the league. The Chargers come in with a 26.25 implied team total, which is the fourth highest on the slate. So everything's shaping up to be in a good spot for Guyton. The matchup's certainly going to be amazing, but whether or not how much priority he will have in the offense depends on whether or not Keenan Allen or Mike Williams are able to play in this game. There's a lot of high-end running backs you want to pay up for, so spending down at receiver could be an option this week. And finally, moving on to tight end, Austin Hooper, $5,000 for the Cleveland Browns. A great matchup. I want to say a sneaky great matchup going up against the Baltimore Ravens. They're around 13.3 fan points per game opposing tight ends. That's the fourth worst in the league. And with Odell Beckham obviously off the team, uh, David Njoku, his status is unclear for Sunday. This puts Austin Hooper as the second highest target share on the team behind Jarvis Landry. And Hooper already has the first, uh, the most red zone target share when it comes to the Cleveland Browns this year. So $5,000 for a player that we know is being targeted by Baker Mayfield in what should be a close game, but it's actually a really good matchup going up against the Ravens defense. So spend down at wide receiver and tight end this week, and then look to spend up at running back because there's so many top tier running backs you want to pay for. All right, that does it for this week's FanDuel. Hurry up, I'll be back next week giving you three more value plays. Until next time, good luck in your contest.